Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for Mac. I've had several requests from people asking for potential alternatives to Apple's mail application. One such alternative is MailPilot, a relatively new application that puts in place a system to process your mail rather than just read it and file it. As I personally still use Apple's Mail app, I asked Todd Altoff to put together an overview of MailPilot for this week's Mac show. Now, as well as the native Mac client, there's also an iOS client for MailPilot, and Todd also takes a look at that over on this week's iOS show, which is episode 152. But for now, let me hand you over to Todd to take a look at MailPilot on the Mac. Hi, everybody. This week, we'll take a look at a new email application for the Mac called MailPilot. With the flood of emails we receive on a daily basis, usually from multiple email accounts, managing your inbox can take quite a bit of time out of your week. It can also make it very difficult to get to the elusive Inbox Zero, where all of your messages have been dealt with. And for many of us, our inbox is a combination of new messages and those that we've read but still need to deal with. A cluttered inbox, along with a long list of folders to file messages into, can make it quite a chore to deal with the many email messages we receive every day. MailPilot is one of those applications that is designed to change the email processing paradigm from many folders to a true getting things done or GTD solution. Using the idea that your email are a series of tasks that you need to act on, MailPilot gives you a way to process your email as you would a task list, complete with reminders, due dates, and projects. So if you have ever wanted to process your email like you process your tasks in other programs, MailPilot just may be the solution you're looking for. So let's get started by installing and setting up MailPilot. 